We set up our experiment to observe whether or not a virus could target a new receptor and get into the cell through a new pathway. So every day we would come in in the morning and we would look at our petri dishes and see are there signs that the virus can get through the new pathway. I think it took about 15 days in this initial experiment. I came in, I looked at the plates, and sure enough there was a sign. So I was excited, although I didn't set up those plates. The person that was actually running the experiment is Devin Tobias. He was an undergrad at MSU that, that worked for me for many years. Immediately I called Devin, he was, he was still at home, and I started accusing him of maybe labeling plates wrong or something like that, really give, drilling him to make sure that the result was genuine. And sure enough, we, did, we performed more tests, we repeated the experiment 96 separate times and we always get the same outcome. Michigan State University has been a wonderful place to do the type of research that we do in my laboratory, which is studying evolution in action. Coming to MSU has been, and I believe will be, one of the most critical steps I've taken in my career. I've met a ton of colleagues here that really think very broadly. The number of collaborators, not only in biology, but in computer science and physics and in other departments who are engaged in asking similar questions and where we can bring our expertise together in complementary ways. We have this NSF-supported Beacon Center for the Study of Evolution in Action, which shows how these collaborations can do research that no individual faculty member can do. Working with these people and these ideas have really changed the way that I think about the world, the way that I approach problems and approach science, and I believe has set me up on a, on a completely different and, and better path. Another wonderful aspect about being at Michigan State University is the tremendous students that come to Michigan State University, both as undergraduates and as doctoral students. And so the project that we just had appear in Science Magazine was work that was led by Justin Meyer, a fantastic graduate student who's going to go on and become a postdoctoral fellow uh, at Harvard after he graduates from MSU, as well as two undergraduate students, uh, Devin Tobias and Ryan Quick, who participated in the research along with Justin.